This episode of the ResortLoop.com podcast is brought to you by Joffrey's Coffee and Tea Company. Joffrey's is proud to be the official specialty coffee of Disney. Enjoy drinks and pastries at Joffrey's kiosks throughout the parks and check out the Disney specialty coffee collection only at joffreys.com. Hey, Looper Nation, what's up? This is Joe Quattrochi, the original Super Looper, coming to you live from Disney's Port Orleans French Quarter Resort in the 2015 Walt Disney World Marathon Weekend. Well, it's time to get this 48.6-mile dopey journey underway. Bob, it's time for you to start training for the Expedition Everest 5K. Tim, it's time for you to find a new co-host just in case Bob keels over. And Jack Wagner, it's time to do what you do best. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. Ladies and gentlemen, we're approaching the Grand Canyon Concourse Station. For those of you standing, please hold on to the handrails and stay clear of the doors. Joe Quattrochi, thank you very much for that open. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. I'm Tim Scott. I'm Bob Collar, soon to be replaced, apparently. Apparently, he doesn't think you can do it. <laughs> well, I got to tell you, I began training... And uh, I'm, I'm agreeing with it. <laughs> What's a K? Is a K like, what, 18 miles? Oh, so 5K I, would be... Good Lord, I hope not. Oh, my goodness. I may be in some trouble. I hope Joe did okay with the uh, dopey. How about that? That's yeah. incredible. Incredible. Yeah. Uh, I saw some pictures. Looks like he survived. Awesome. So uh, that's awesome. Um, but he's on such a high from running from the uh, running the dopey challenge. I believe he ran all the way back to New Jersey. <laughs> yeah, all those endorphins running and <laughs> just couldn't stop. <laughs> Not sure about that. <laughs> I think it had something to do with. Are you ready for this, Tim? I'm sitting down. See, this is this is tying everything together. I like it. I, I believe it has everything to do with the fact that he enjoyed Joffrey's Coffee kiosks throughout the Disney parks. Oh, how could you not? That we can find those Joffrey coffee kiosks <laughs> at joffreys.com forward slash Disney dash locations dot ASPX on nice. their website. I, I went to that the other day, uh-huh. by the way, and uh, it is so cool. Is it really cool? Because you click it, it gives you a map of, of the Disney parks and where their, uh, their kiosks are located, and uh, you just click on it. And uh, it shows a little picture of it and everything. It's, oh. it's very, very cool. I, I love it. That is awesome. The exciting part, right now they're serving that 30th anniversary blend. Oh, my gosh. We've raved about that before I went uh, into the parks. Let's Absolutely. Let's just throw, throw that out there. Absolutely. And, and one of the best codes they've ever had. 30%? Can you believe that? Oh. Just type in anniversary to nice. get that. So, uh, yeah. Thank you, uh, thank you, Joffrey's, for that. Thank you, Joffrey's, for... Uh, Juicing up Joe Quattrochi yes. so he can run home. He, he ran some K's. Or did he run miles? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how I got myself into this is the, is the problem. You're but, bettering uh, yourself. It's a, it's a new year. It is a new year. I'm trying. I'm trying. It's, it's not going to succeed, but I'm going to try. <laughs> I, on the other hand, just had a hot dog with bacon on it. Nothing wrong with that either. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Um, so uh, looking forward to that. But... Uh, we wanted to know what uh, what Looper Nation is looking forward to. That's right. New year. We're all looking forward. Everybody wants something. <laughs> <laughs> that might have been a song. <laughs> uh, peace on Earth, Goodwill Toward Men. No, no that was last year. That no. Was, that was toward the end of last year. That's so 2014. Yeah, that was, that's so, that's so de- uh, December. That's not yeah. a beauty pageant here, Bob. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what, do you, what did Looper Nation want? Or what, what are they looking forward to? in the upcoming year for uh, um, the Disney company, Disney Parks, yes. just Disney as a whole. So uh, why, don't we, uh, why don't we start off with, uh, with our Facebook page, and I'll jump over to Twitter and back and forth, and we'll do that. Sounds fantastic. Over on Facebook, Mr. Bob Webb. Ooh, is that any relation to Jack Webb? I don't know. We'll have to get his voice. We'll, we'll be able to tell by his voice. So it be cool. <laughs> That's true. He says he's waiting for his uh, DVC yearly dues to not increase. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, Bob. <laughs> Good luck with that. We hope so, too. Uh, they, yeah, they got to pay for that Polynesian uh, oh, expansion. There. Yeah. 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 Oh, my goodness. Uh, good pal of the show, Safari Mike from uh, Jumbo Everyone on the Twitter. And, hey, Mike. Uh, Radio Harambe. Yes. Good show. Uh, he's looking for, forward to uh, the Harambe Market, hyenas at uh, Disney's Animal Kingdom. They're hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> 
You're just not going to stop, are you? No, I can't help it. <laughs> and, uh, and Trader Sam's. Over at the, that's over at the Poly, right? People are raving at the, about the Trader Sam's. Yeah, that's going to be uh, fun to check out. The Walt Disney World incar- incarnation of what's going on over at Disneyland. Yeah. yeah. Does, did they get rid of because tra- it was tra- was a Trader Jack's Grog Hut on the that one little shop there on the second floor? There's lots of traders over there. Okay. Maybe they renamed that like a decade ago. You mean traders, not traitors. Well, true. Tra- <laughs> Either way, whatever. Nobody's jumping over to that. I've other not part. been there. They could have changed the theme. <laughs> well, that's, they do have pirates. Arr. Uh, who knows? <laughs> Lisa Holly over on Facebook. She's saying anything new for Star Wars. Oh yeah, I yeah. think she might be getting her uh, wish come true there. Yeah, that's uh, that's going to be a, a um, theme, I believe. Mm. As I looked over <laughs> some of these responses, nothing wrong with that. Uh, Gary at uh, DVC Nuts says, uh, "I would say the announcement of Hollywood Studios expansion. That's going to be interesting. Oh yeah, I can't wait to see what they're planning on putting in there. I think we're going to see a little bit of a couple. I think we're going to see a couple different things. You do. That's what my." Uh, Ears mm. on the ground are telling me. Mm. I know. Monica Pinto, we know her very well. She's looking forward to hearing that Resort Loop Bob, that's you, Bob. What? <laughs> Finally gets into Ohana. Oh, we'll see. <laughs> I'm working on some stuff. Oh. We got loopers behind the scenes working on some stuff. Yeah, she's, oh, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, oh. Well, I'm not going to. You, you know, are loved, my friend. That's a teaser. Oh, hey. It's a teaser. <laughs> um, she's sure it was your New Year's resolution and someone, please get him in there. Please. Hmm. Could that could that come true? I don't know. Is this foreshadowing? I, I still on? I still think it's a myth. So we'll find <laughs> out. Uh, Chad Reno uh, at Chad underscore Reno thirteen on the Twitter. Uh, he's looking forward to magic necklaces. I haven't heard anything about magic necklaces. You know anything about magic, magic necklaces. necklaces? Maybe you just have a little neck and you're using magic bands and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Do not try that at home. <laughs> don't please, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> you could probably link them all together. Oh, I, wow. I don't know what that RFID chip is going to do to you. A magic chain. Magic chain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laying in the person behind me and 17 other people. <laughs> uh, Monica Pinto uh, clued in again. She goes, she's really looking forward to all of the Fast Pass Plus to actually go away. Oh, yeah, that's not going to happen. No, 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 I won't. But she's, she finds it stressful and she just wants it to go away, apparently. Yeah, it's it's going it, to, it, there's a learning curve there. There is. Um, you know, good pal of the show. Sean Woosley says, uh, Fish Sean Woo. He was, he loved it. He hated it, loved it. Not too sure now. Yeah. We're, we, <laughs> there's, there's a little bit of a learning curve. Once we all get into the flow, I think we'll be fine. You said you just booked a couple dates coming up on your app. I did. You didn't even call anybody. I didn't have to call anybody. Oh, my gosh. It was very nice. Was it really? It was okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like talking to cast members. I do, I, too. I really do. Uh, Jason at Jason Osborne uh, or uh, at Osborne eighty two on the Twitter says, uh, "I am looking forward to the movies. All the all these new movies coming out: Star Wars, Tomorrowland, Inside Out, and the new Avengers." Oh, people are going to like this Avengers movie. Oh my gosh, it's going to make a splash. It might make Disney a couple of bucks. A couple of bucks. Tamara Spidell, I think I got it right. Yeah, I think you did. <laughs> she said it was like camera, so I kept saying like Nikon. Nikon, and yeah. <laughs> that no, it wasn't working for me. It wasn't even spelled she's, like that. She's looking forward to the Pixar movie Inside Out. Yeah. She says the trailer looks synonymous to her own family. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and the magical visit to the world in October. Woohoo! Ooh, you can't beat a, a trip to any of the Disney parks. That's right. Tamara, we want to see lots of pictures from your camera. Wow. What? Wow. Was, she sent me the phonetics for that. Come on. Wow. Uh, Christina at Raising Las Vegas on the Twitter says, uh, Disneyland's 60th anniversary anniversary diamond celebration. She already has her fast passes for it. Nice. Now, she's in Vegas, so that's a little easier. Well, a little but, bit. Uh, yeah, that'll be... I can't wait to see what they do with that. I know. Can't wait. I'd have to go. You gotta go. I'm not sure I'm gonna make it, but I want to go. You need to go. I need to go. Heather Schmidt. She wants good discounts so she can visit the parks. Ah, very good. Heather, if there's any good discounts out there, we'll let you know. Uh, well, yeah, absolutely. As soon as we hear something, as soon as we hear something. Jad Penna at uh, Android underscore Mickey on the Twitter says, uh, "Can't wait to hear about the details on Star Wars Land, and hoping to hear the hat was relocated." And not just trashed. Oh, a hat fan. A hat fan. 
there you go. I'm still excited to just look down the boulevard there and just see the Chinese theater. Yeah. As was originally intended. Yeah, me too. Because it was a whole nice, what do you call it, theme. It wrapped up the whole theme. You're looking down Hollywood Boulevard, you have the shops, and at the end is the theater, the well, palm trees. it looked more like Hollywood. Yeah, it did. The, what, what the original intent of the park was. Old school, idealized Hollywood. Right. The Hollywood that never was. Or will be. Look at you. Look at that. <laughs> That's caffeination, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, original uh, looper Joe Quattrochi, our show open Speak provider. Speak of the devil. He hopped right on. He goes, he's waiting for another big DVC announcement. He goes, the poly's just about finished, and Disney knows that we need something to talk and complain about. Yeah, and, <laughs> and he just picked up some DVC by retail, by the way. Oh, Or thanks. resale, I should say. Recently. Sounds like yeah. a show. How about that? Yeah. Sounds like a show. Uh, Epcot, uh, AKL on the Twitter, uh, says, uh, the Polynesian Village Resort being completed. I can't wait for that, too. I'm not even excited about the DVC part of it. Like, those little things sitting over the water. Yeah, well, you and I will never be in them. Well, we won't so. be in them. Although I'd love to see inside them. I'd love to report on what they look like. Right. Yeah, absolutely. But I don't know. I'm just thinking, I want to see, the, just hang around the rest of the resort. And I've seen a couple, like, pictures of what's on the inside. Yeah. I'm not terribly impressed with I'm, what's I'm going underwhelmed on. so far. You know? Right. Absolutely. I'm sure once you're out there, the view and everything might make up for it, but. I hope so. They look kind of bare bones, what I was seeing. I, like, well, yeah, kind well, of minimalist. Got to wait and see. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Calm down. And nothing's official. I mean, yeah. the, the, the waterfalls are in your, your home now. So aren't they, though? you have that. <laughs> that is the new resort loop fountain, is that actually the Polynesian waterfall. Um, if you guys can remember Christmas Vacation with Chevy Chase and the and the Christmas tree he brings in from uh, the outside. Yes. And it's so big that it breaks through the windows. That's just one of those palm trees that <laughs> is in Tim's house right now. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Florence Porter. She's in on Facebook. She wants the Avengers movie and, the, oh, the Poly DVC. That's oh, becoming huge, too. People are really excited about the DVC. They should be because it's going to be it's going to be amazing. For those folks that, uh, and we got a little little taste of how much that's going to cost, it's going to be quite a bit. Yeah. Those bungalows are going to be expensive. Um, but for those folks that get to do them, I, I think it's going to be phenomenal. Exactly. So, uh, Matt Hawley. 579 M Holly 579 on the uh, Twitter is looking forward to any news about Star Wars land and the plans for Disney's Hollywood Studios again Star Wars mm-hmm. and the studios a keys in right over here with uh, Murray Conway Jr. he says he's looking forward to Star Wars movie and all the refurbs and additions I mean between the movies and whatever they're going to throw into the parks there it's going to be fantastic absolutely I wouldn't be surprised if the second movie lines up with uh, maybe a couple new attractions then could be. I mean, I don't know. Could it's, be. It takes a while to build all that stuff, I know, but if the I, movie's hot, they're going to turn around another one, I think, for rel- relatively soon. Not too soon. Absolutely, but. yeah. Absolutely. They're not going to go frozen with it, I don't think. You don't think? I don't know. <laughs> Princess Leia singing Let It Go on, yeah. the, on the wing of an X-Wing uh, fighter. Yeah, just Star no Wars the it. musical is not going <laughs> to... I don't think that's going to go over too well. Yeah. No, I agree with you. I agree with you. Uh, tw- again, the Disney Renaissance, is, as you have coined that phrase. Yes, remember where you heard it first, by the way. It's gonna be, That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> the next the next 10 years at Walt Disney World are going to be just unbelievable. Um, good pal of the show and fiancé, <gasps> Tyler Braun. Oh. <laughs> uh, at uh, Tyler Travels TV, which, by the way, check those out. Uh, yes, his to, YouTube channel. His YouTube channel is fantastic. A lot of a lot of very cool video there. Um, here's what he's looking forward to in 2015. Disney announcing Resort Loop as the official podcast of Disney Parks and Resorts and making me and Resort Loop Tim cast members. Hey, I like the way he thinks. I do, too. <laughs> Tyler, if you have any... Um, uh, pull. Uh, pull. <laughs> please, uh, please let those folks know. He also goes on to say, with, of course, a hefty raise. <laughs> I'm waiting for anything. But uh, that goes without saying. I bet they can double what you're making now. He knows. Easily. Yeah. Easily double. <laughs> this is quadruple it. Bob, you're worth it. <laughs> wow, thanks. I'm just saying. Wow. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Tyler. Laura Jones, She wants. she's looking forward to Star Wars and how they incorporate the Marvel uh, product and Star Wars also into the parks. 
Yeah, that's going to be very cool. I know Marvel's kind of iffy on some of that stuff right now, but Star Wars, man, they own that stuff outright. They're going to go. Oh, yeah. They're going to go to town on that, I think. Oh, yeah. I think um, you may see. Uh, I can't wait to see what's going to happen with Shanghai Disneyland. Yeah. Because they have, a, a, unlike in Hong Kong, they have a little bit more room to grow, I think. They have the blessing of size. So, oh, wow. See where, yeah. You're going old school. I okay. went, I did it. I pulled wow. it out. Uh, I, I just think you're going to see a lot of the Marvel and Star Wars stuff there initially. Yeah, you will. Because they're, they're building right now. Right. So, it's a little easier for them to change plans while they're in the midst of building. Right, you have to wall off an area to build it while you're... Right. Already constructing, exactly. Right, 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 right. Uh, good pal of the show, Susan Brass, says, uh, definitely looking forward to the end of the war zone at the Poly and visiting Trader Sam's. The lobby looks nice. She's seen some pictures as well. Uh, but the new water feature looks lost in there. Also looking forward to the progression of Disney Springs. Lots of unique new dining experiences going in. I'm looking forward to the Springs, too. Me, too. Really, I honestly am. Yeah, it's going to be beautiful. Absolutely. I really think so. Absolutely. Leanne Johnston, she goes, I know this is not what you're looking for, but she's too excited. She's going to be running her first Princess Half Marathon in February. That's fantastic. That's awesome. That's exactly what we're looking for. We want to know what you guys are doing. Right. That's great. Right. You know, the things that we're going to do, obviously, are, are a lot of things we're looking forward to. You know, you throw Disney in the middle of it. It's a bonus. It's a bonus. That's yes. great. Yeah. Good luck, Leanne. Uh, let us know how you did, how much fun you had. Absolutely. Uh, Peyton Turner says, uh, I know that this is selfish. No, it's not. Uh, but I am looking forward to the Disney company <laughs> company hosting me in the parks this year. Oh. Now, if only he could find a way to make them foot the bill. <laughs> that's that's the key. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. It's always more fun when somebody else is paying. Absolutely. <laughs> When you're not writing the check. Right. Uh, Cliff Barnes, he's waiting on that Star Wars uh, Hollywood Studios announcement. The hat coming down, which I guess has started or is starting soon. Yeah, they've they've started working on it. They're that, chipping I guess. away at it. There are walls surrounding the hat. Oh, how long can it take to take down a hat? It's just a hat. It's just a hat. James Bond used to throw it onto the hat rack. Why can't we just have somebody throw it onto a hat rack someplace? Exactly. That's all I'm saying. Hang it on the, the Earful Tower. No. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> He's also looking for the Poly Reefer being finished. The uh, Avengers Age of Ultron, the new movie. It's going to be big. Oh, it's going to be huge. Uh, Disney Springs, and he's looking forward to pretty much everything that uh, Disney's uh, doing. As I said, they're on the cusp of the Disney Renaissance. Hmm. I, I would agree with that, except I don't know what cusp means. Uh, Matt Wallace <laughs> <laughs> says, I'm hoping that we hear something from Disney about what the plans are for Hollywood Studios, and I think we will. Oh, yeah. Um, see the progress with Pandora and Animal Kingdom, and see the benefit of the new hub at Magic Kingdom. Th th those, those, uh, those are two good ones. Yeah. I forgot yeah. all about the hub. I don't, that's not normally on my radar when I'm thinking about what's going Me on either. in the parks. Yeah. And actually, sometimes Pandora's getting lost with all this other talk, too. Yeah, Pandora, the whole Avatar land is has kind of fallen by the wayside. You don't you don't hear anybody talking about it. The bloggers aren't talking about it. Everybody's talking about the new Star Wars, Frozen, Maelstrom, of course. Yeah, Disney Springs. Disney Springs, yeah. So, but they're tearing it up over there. They're getting some stuff done. Yeah, it's it. Yeah. But Jen Steed, she's looking uh, for more uh, reveal from Disney Springs. She's excited about what's going on over there as well. Oh, All yeah. the new restaurants. Yeah. That STK Orlando. Anytime you can give me some meat. Why do you guys spell around me? Just say the word. Well, there were no vowels. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to confuse you. <laughs> it's Czechoslovakian then. It could be. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, and I can say that. I'm from that. My, my family's from Yugoslavia, which is right like next door. Oh, like neighbors. Don't send me emails. <laughs> he would just go across the street and get a cup of sugar. There you go. That's all I'm saying. Uh, Keith White says uh, he's looking forward to The Force Awakening, The Avengers 2, Agent Carter, which is the new spinoff from, uh, uh, oh, the... Captain America. Captain America yeah. stuff. Inside Out, Star Wars Weekends, which is going to probably be big. Oh, that'll be, oh, that'll be I, huge. I think it's going to be I insane in 2016. After oh. the movie comes out, forget yes. about it. Different characters. Oh, uh, he's also looking forward to Harambe Nights 
and that blasted hat coming down. The blasted hat, yes. He says. Are they going to do Harambe Nights again? I, I, haven't heard, I don't I, remember hearing. Maybe I, I heard. I'm not sure. I think it always sold out, so it's got to be coming back in some Probably. form, I'll bet. Probably. Oh, Frederick Pagrillo Jr. Freddy. Freddy. <laughs> he goes, this one is easy. Star Wars Episode Seven. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Peter Pontegorvo uh, chimes in the same thing with uh, The Force Awakens. So, yeah, yeah, episode seven, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. awesome. I think it's going to be a, a an amazing... We talked about this before. I think we're going to see an amazing 2015 out of Disney with the opening of so many things. The movies are going to be ridiculous. It's a huge year for movies. Huge year. Um, so, you know, Ant-Man's supposed to be coming out. Which I, I wasn't too sure about. I saw a preview of it. Looks pretty good, actually. It's like those, uh, like we talked about in the one show, the Pixar movies. When you hear like the treatments for these movies, they don't sound like they're going to be all that interesting. Right, right. But man, when, when you see those films or like when the trailers come out, you're like, this is going to be fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Disney's going to do it right. Uh, you know, like like we said, the, that whole Star Wars thing, it's going to be it's going to be perfect. It's going to make everybody happy. I think it's going to have to. Yeah. Well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're going to million sure. dollars. Exactly. It's gotta, yeah. It's it's got to it's got to be good. Um, but yeah, looking forward to uh, 2015. It's going to be exciting. I'm doing something new. I'm running in that expedition Everest. God bless. You. Training. Uh, my son who who uh, runs cross country. Uh, we both were on the treadmill a couple of days ago. Yes. I'm still sore. <laughs> um, completely blew away my time. So, oh, I had no doubts. So, <laughs> he's going to be waiting for me is what it's going to boil down to. He's got a healthy stride on him, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Yeah. Yes, he does. So, uh, um, But uh, that's that's something new. We might actually, uh, the Resort Loop Bob family may actually be hitting Disneyland again this summer. Oh. We're shooting for that. That's uh, awesome. That's not set in stone, the the race is, but that's not. And we're, we're working toward it. So uh, what do you got planned for 2015 2015 so far we have a uh, cruise planned a disney cruise a disney cruise absolutely on the dream that will give us the uh what we call the disney grand slam the grand slam we'll been on all the disney ships nice so i predict right about before or just after our trip when we can brag about it they'll announce new ships coming out nothing wrong with that no nothing wrong with that Wow. so and then we'll do a few days at the park either before and or after very good very good get a get a look at uh what what is what walls have come down and yeah yeah probably check out the polynesian again without the walls check out the lobby yeah. in person i'm the pictures i'm not too sure how yeah. i feel about the lobby i'm gonna have to see it in person before i actually throw any kind of judgment down on that now let me ask you this Th- this has not happened yet and we haven't heard anything but let me i just got to ask you real quick what since they refurbed the entire lobby area mm-hmm. do the and I, I haven't been there so right. i don't know but are they going to refurb Ohana's, do you think? Do they have to? I don't think you have to. Okay. All right. I don't I, recall I don't their... I, you, you don't want to mess it up too much in there right now. You no. want to let people uh, settle down on this lobby before you start digging into the Ohana. I understand. If it's super popular as it is, unless there's yeah. something that actually needs taken care of structurally or, you know... Yeah, yeah. Well, if you noticed, when, when we were down there, they weren't messing with any of the restaurants. Right. So, other than Captain Cook's... Which was a quick service. Mm-hmm. Um, other than that, they weren't really messing with any of the uh, the restaurants. So I don't know. I was just wondering. Yeah, no, I think uh, I think Ohana's good to go. I mean, they tweak the menu, I guess, every once in a while. Yeah, now, I know the Kona Cafe still looks nice. It probably would fit in with anything. Right, right. But I don't know Ohana. I, don't I know. know you don't know Ohana. Ohana, they well, as you know, they sell out quite frequently. Uh, it's, it's hard to get a room, so you know you're not going to mess with something that's already. So I've heard selling. Yeah, well, that's true. That's so, true. I don't know. Anxious Very about good. the lobby, though. Very good. Well, I guess, uh, Tim, that is all I've got. Oh, everybody, thanks for joining us. I'm, I'm having a great time. We haven't recorded for a while. I know. I mean, we did the loop but that was kind of a... That was that was fast and furious. That was fast. Knocking them out. <laughs> <laughs> I had to shave my head like Vin Diesel. <laughs> we oh. were going so fast. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, wind resistance. That's true. <laughs> that and for that running. A smooth bob collar is a fast bob collar. No. <laughs> Still no. <laughs> oh, everybody, I'm uh, Tim Scott. You can find me on uh, Twitter, Resort Loop Tim. On Facebook, I'm Tim, Resort Loop Scott. I don't like that either. I can't, no. I'm going to have to just stop saying that. It was hard for me to say uh, it. I know. It. It's just painful. It's like extra <laughs> vowels and verbs and 
syllables. I don't even know. Yeah. Oh, you can find us on uh, the website, resortloop.com. And uh, I'm Resort Loop Bob on the Twitter and Instagram. Don't forget uh, Facebook forward slash Resort Loop. Rate us on iTunes. And where else can they listen to? If you're an Android person or have one of those fancy dancy cars, you can do it on the Stitcher. So like C-3PO is going to do? Well, if you have to go, we better wrap up the show. <laughs> <laughs> This has been the Gateway to the Magic. (laughs) See you, everybody. Do you desire a place to get away? How about three? You truly belong here among the clouds on Bespin, the first stop on your Star Tours getaway package. Stay and play in the clouds and enjoy the spectacular Galaxy in the Skies fireworks pageant every single night. The fun continues on the forest moon of Endor, where you'll sleep under the stars with the lovable Ewoks in their charming tribal villages. Your third stop brings you to the peaceful world of Alderaan, where you can relax in a natural wonderland, recently voted safest planet in the galaxy by Hyperspace Traveler. This Star Tours getaway package is three times the fun in one, so ask your travel consultant to book yours today.